Now simply strip off more line, a total of maybe five or six meters, and fix the line under your fingers. Flick it out onto the water. And now using the surface tension of the water on the line, simply shake out the rest of the line that you have lying in front of you. Now, if you carefully and slowly raise the rod behind you, letting the rod and the line come to a rest and then tap it forward, making a stop, you've just made your first cast, in this case, a roll cast. So let's take a closer look on how to make a roll cast. We have the line lying straight out in front of us after that first cast we made. So I simply slowly raise the rod until the rod tip is pointing to a position that on a huge clock face would be around two o'clock. And now when I make the forward cast, I start very slowly. I accelerate all the way through my casting motion. I come to a firm stop just as the rod reaches its maximum velocity. It looks like this. One important thing to know about the roll cast is that as you raise the rod behind you, getting ready for that forward cast, you must always remember, if you're a right-handed caster, to cast a little bit to the left of the line. If you don't do that, if you try from a position like this to cast more to the right, the line will simply tangle with the rod and the line itself. The point of the roll cast is that you can cast with virtually no free space behind you, which is a huge advantage because you will be able to fish places where you can't fish with a proper overhead cast. That's one good reason to learn the roll cast. Another good reason is it's a good cast for picking up lines even when you're overhead casting and especially when using sinking lines. You can simply roll the line into the air and go straight into an overhead cast. One thing you have to pay particular attention to when using the roll cast is the direction of the wind. Because if the wind is coming from your right, assuming that you're a right-handed caster, if you move the line behind you, you risk that the wind blows the line onto yourself and you risk hooking yourself when you cast. So that's a good reason to learn the roll cast over your opposite shoulder, which in comparison to a lot of other casts is actually quite easy to do. What you do is simply, when you lift the rod, you lift it up over the opposite shoulder and everything else is just the same. Apart from the fact that now you must remember to cast on the right side of your line to avoid that tangle which will otherwise happen. Now you've hopefully made a couple of successful roll casts. 